You're here today to demonstrate binding, machine binding, machine binding, back to front machine binding. All machine, no all hand work at all. No hand work at all. Okay, great. Well, let's yes. take a look at this. And we're talking specifically about how to prep your yes. binding because a lot of times in a pattern we'll say bind your quilt to finish and we just trust that you know what that means right. and not everybody does and you have some foolproof ways to really guarantee success with your machine binding right? I do so what I've started doing is I cut with the fold towards me mm -hmm. so that if there is any bowing or anything wrong with the shape it's at the end of the strip not the middle of the strip where it's going to cause me problems. Right. I'm all about avoiding as many problems as I possibly can. So I like to cut it this way. So I've got it lined up there. Now my binding, I cut two inches wide. Okay. Because here's my thought, and I actually got kind of irritated about this, because as I was trying to figure out a good method for binding, people would say, oh, you need to cut it two and a half, and then your seam allowance needs to be three-eighths of an inch or five-eighths, you know, I, I'm a quilter and I know a quarter of an inch and if I start throwing five-eighths or half an inch yeah. or something, it gets confusing. And so why can't you come up with a way to work with a quarter inch foot? So, so that's what I did. Okay. Okay. That's foreshadow of things to come. But, all right. So I just cut two inch two wide inches. strip. Yeah. 